If you ask different people today, who is Jesus, they will give you different answers. And I think it is important in our world today that we understand who the Jesus of the Bible was and what he taught because he warned us that there would be many false Christs on this earth. If we do not know who the Jesus of the Bible is, then how can we follow him? Jesus asked his disciples in Matthew chapter 16, Who do men say the Son of Man is? And who do you say I am? And I think that is important, how we answer this question, because our eternity depends on it. You see, the disciples said, Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus told him he was blessed because flesh and blood had not revealed it to him, but his Father in heaven revealed this truth to Peter. And many churches today are teaching man-made doctrines that have created a different Jesus than the one that the Bible teaches. Many have done this because they know the Jesus of the Bible offended people while he was here on this earth. And if the real Jesus of the Bible is taught, they will be offended today. And this hurts churches that only care about growing in size and bringing in lots of money. Offending people is not popular. So the Jesus that is taught today has been watered down so that sinners can feel comfortable while they sit in a church service week after week with no true conversion. This is not why Jesus came to this earth. He came for the sick, the spiritually sick people who have taken in all the sins of this world. He came to set them free, and he cannot do this if the real Jesus of the Bible is not taught. I have a pastor friend on my social media, Brother Ellison, that shared something the other day, and I'm going to put the image up on the screen for you to see because it inspired this teaching that I am sharing with you today. So let's look at this image together for a minute. The modern Jesus preaches only on love, but the biblical Jesus preaches God's righteousness. The modern Jesus gives you health and wealth, but the biblical Jesus gives you salvation, hope, peace, and joy. The modern Jesus never says anything negative, but the biblical Jesus warns of sin, judgment, and hell. The modern Jesus loved and accepted by the world, but the biblical Jesus is hated and despised by the world. The modern Jesus serves your will, not God's will, and the biblical Jesus exalts God the Father's will. The modern Jesus hates to offend you or others, but the biblical Jesus offends the world with the truth. Wow, there is a whole lot of truth to what I just shared with you, isn't there? If we open up our Bibles and read the words of Christ, we know what I just shared with you is true. The church today, they are not teaching the biblical Jesus because we are living in Sodom and Gomorrah. If the true Jesus was taught, the churches would be pretty empty every Sunday because the biblical Jesus requires holiness, righteousness, denying oneself, making you pick up your cross daily and follow him. So let's talk a minute about the word offend. Offend in the Bible means made to stumble. Now I know in our world today, offend means something totally different. It means to cause someone to feel upset, annoyed, or resentful. And you can see that those two meanings are quite different, aren't they? Jesus came to offend so that you will either stumble at what he said or you will receive what he says and turn from your sin. 
And there are many examples in the Bible where the people stumbled on what he said to them. And because of it, they wanted to put their hands on him and kill him. But they were not allowed to because his time was not yet come. So large crowds would be wanting to hurt him and he would just disappear right out of the crowd and leave. And I want to encourage you to go and read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John because it is full of what Jesus taught and how mad the people were at him. But for time's sake today, I just want to point out a specific passage in the Bible that involves Peter. And I think this one is important for us today because he loved Jesus. And he told Jesus that he would not be offended or stumble at his words that Jesus had said, but he did. So if you would turn with me to Matthew chapter 26 and let's read verses 31 through 35 together. Then saith Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. And Jesus told them that they would be offended because of him. And Peter said, Not me, Lord. I will never be offended because of you. And notice at the end of verse 35, it states, Likewise also said all the disciples. We know what Jesus told Peter would happen. It happened just as he said it would. And Peter denied the Lord three times. I think this is what has happened in our world today. Christians today are offended knowing that if they teach the real words of Christ in the Bible, the world will hate them. And let's be honest, no one likes to be hated, right? But we cannot let this fear of being hated stop us from proclaiming the truth that is in the Bible. We need to walk in boldness. We need to speak truth and love to those that are caught up in sin because sin separates us from God. If we love people, we will tell them the truth. God's will is that none will perish. But the truth is, is if the people do not turn from their sin and serve God in spirit and in truth, they are going to hell. Now, this is not a popular message, but it is the truth. Jesus of the Bible is the way, the truth, and the life. And if we do not know who he is and tell others who he is, we are not going to heaven. Jesus was clear about this in his teachings. So today, I want to encourage you to get in the word of God. Learn about the Jesus of the Bible. True conversion happens in your heart where you are willing to love God above everything else in your life. If we are not willing to do this, we are not followers of Jesus Christ, but we are fakes who will one day say to him, didn't we do all these miracles in your name and all these works? And he is going to say, depart from me, I never knew you. And I also want to encourage you to speak truth to those who God puts in your path. We must tell people about the real Jesus. We must be willing to not be liked and suffer discomfort while being here on this earth in hopes of pulling some people out of the pit that they are in. And I'm not saying any of this to be mean or with a mean spirit towards people because I know some people do that in the name of Christianity and that is no more helpful than those teaching about a false Christ. But we must walk in love, teaching people biblically sound truth. Know the teaching of Jesus. 
Share the real Jesus with this lost world because so many, even in our churches today, are not saved. They have been deceived by the prince of the air following after a false Christ. We must do all we can to share the true light of the world with everyone that we can because time is getting shorter and there are so many souls that will perish if we do not put our hands to the plow and be willing to get our hands dirty and do the hard work that is set before us to do in this hour that we have been called to live in. I hope this study has encouraged you today. I hope to see you next Tuesday. Until next time, take care and stay in the Word.